A global shortage of microchips has hit the Stellantis auto plant in Windsor hard, shutting down shifts more than once. It's not alone. The pandemic has sparked the worst crisis in supply chains the world has seen, from cars to clothes to toys. Container ships are stacked up at ports, there aren't enough drivers to transport goods, and widespread shortages will hit shoppers this Christmas. Climate researchers say it's about time supply chains are in the economic spotlight because so much of what the globalized economy produces contributes to greenhouse gases. About 90 to 95 percent of their emissions, meaning that their total emissions, is actually coming from their supply chain. In short, the carbon from your car isn't limited to what comes out of the tailpipe. It starts with the mining of raw materials from all over the world, steel and plastics to lithium and cobalt. The materials are shipped, the cars are manufactured, parts are made and transported, the workers commute to plants, and more shipping to car dealerships that use energy. Then you drive the car off the lot, burning fossil fuels, and eventually a car must be disposed of. Every link in the supply chain expands the carbon footprint and affects climate. Many of the industry players, many of the, the buyers of materials are starting to, to do those accounts and think about well, what is that footprint and what is the total carbon that adds up? Canada, a major trading nation, is deeply interwoven with supply chains, not just what comes here, but businesses that export oil, lumber, food, as well as finished products. Most of their climate impact is coming from the uh, supply chain in both directions. A first step, says MIT's John Sturman, is for companies to accurately report their emissions. Critics say some are greenwashing, not really accounting for carbon impacts up and down the supply chain. And customers are none the wiser. I don't know how I got here, but somehow or another it showed up on my doorstep and I'm happy. One response is to buy local, but consumers can also ask more questions. You know, where do their products come from? And what is the impact of those products? The pandemic has heightened awareness of our precarious globalized economy, but it's an awareness that is putting supply chains under long overdue scrutiny for their contributions to climate change. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.